Plyer. I am the Health and Human Sciences Educator with Purdue University Extension here in Franklin County. Um, so I am basically going to be providing you with an overview. So um, I'll be talking about use substance use, kind of generally speaking. And then Chris here can here, our Franklin County Prosecuting Attorney, will be talking to you about some trends in use substance use. And Nikki King, um, an addiction manager at Margaret Mary Health. That's it. Addiction manager at Margaret Mary Health. Um, she's going to be talking to you about kind of the personal toils of dealing with addiction. So, what does what do these substances do to your body? How do they affect you? Hold on, I'll, I'll ask more questions in a second. <laughs> so, these drugs, these drugs are chemicals, and one of the most important things that they affect is your brain. And these chemicals impact the chemicals of your brain. So one of those chemicals that they impact is dopamine. How does dopamine make us feel? Who knows? Yes. Good. Yes. Dopamine is a chemical that makes you feel very, very happy. And these drugs, alcohol, nicotine, tobacco, heroin, you name it, they're all things that flood your brain with dopamine and make you feel good. But your brain does this already. I have a good time, I'm exercising, this is great. I stopped walking, but I still feel pretty good because I was healthy. And uh, now we're going to bed, and uh, we're back down here. Okay. So that's me going on a walk. My body produced dopamine, I feel pretty good. Now, how about a day of service? I'm having a great time, I'm helping people, this is awesome. Having a good time, people complimented me. I'm done, but I'm still feeling good. And I'm going to bed, okay, I'm done. No more dopamine. No more. So I've got lots of dopamine in my body because I was helping people, so I felt good. All right, how about a hit of Jewel? I take a hit, boom! That's a lot of dopamine. I come back down. Just like that. Works the same way with heroin, with cocaine, with alcohol. You get a quick hit of dopamine. It goes away pretty quickly, so you have to take some more. A quick hit of dopamine. Now, this is a lot of dopamine for your brain. Your, your brain is overloaded, and you feel something called a high. Get it? It's high up. You feel a high. But that high doesn't stay there. It gets low again. So in order to feel, to feel high, you have to start taking more drugs because your brain turns down the volume. This is too much dopamine. Your brain's not used to this. Your brain's used to this. That's way too much. So your brain turns down the volume and starts turning off some receptors. And those receptors are what collect the dopamine in your brain so you feel happy. So your brain starts turning those off. So the next time I take a hit on a jewel, boom, it still goes up, but not quite so much. Because my brain turned off those receptors. So it doesn't feel so high. The next time, up. Oh, even less. So I either have to use more often or I have to take more drugs or do different things to get high again. But the bummer about this, the big bummer, is that when your brain turns off those receptors, helping people, going on a walk, doing other things that are good for you, also don't produce as much dopamine. Don't let, don't let you feel as happy anymore. So the only way to start feeling happy and feeling good is to start using more of those drugs. 